Hi friends, this is Arun. Today we are going to learn about JavaScript. So this is one of the most popular programming language out in the world. And this is one of the simplest as well. Okay. To learn this language, you need two things. One is a text editor. Another one is a browser. So when I say text editor, the text editor could be a notepad, Vimo, sorry, Vim, Nano, or what else, Sublime Text, or any notepad plus plus, any text editor. And the browsers could be any browser, like um, Chrome, Firefox, Opera, or Safari, anything is fine, okay? These are two things which you need to, which you need to have it in this. Apart from that, this could be learned by any uh, person who doesn't know anything about programming. Also, they can do it, okay? So, with that note, we'll start with it. Okay, I'll start with some story. The first, uh, let's go to the story part. So, then let's come back to JavaScript. So, JavaScript is uh, created by Brandon Eich. So this is uh, he did when he was working with Netscape. Netscape is, a f uh, I wouldn't say the first browser, the first popular browser which we used to have it. Like when I was a kid, I used to have that, okay? So now that is uh, transformed into something called Mozilla, which is you popularly use as Firefox, the one which is running right now, okay? So JavaScript is not Java. That is another thing which you have to be clear. Though the name contains Java, it doesn't mean that JavaScript and Java are same. Those are through different programming languages completely. It's like uh, uh, in India, we have multiple languages, Tamil and uh, uh, Malayalam. Both looks alike. Telugu and Kannada both looks alike, but both are different languages. Okay. They might look, uh, look same, but they are two different languages like that it is. Okay. So the original name was called Mocha. So that, that's the name uh, they chose, but after that, to, for a uh, few marketing uh, reasons, uh, they went to the name called JavaScript, okay? So it was developed in 10 days. That is the beauty of the programming language and it has all the best features picked from all other languages. You name C, C++, whatever small talk, whatever languages which was available during that time. Uh, Brendan and I went and picked the data from the best pieces from it and he built this thing. So when he built it, like uh, uh, this had multi-dimensional thing. For example, JavaScript can be used for functional programming, which if you are interested, you can learn or a typical uh, um, uh, procedural thing, object oriented or any type of programming uh, styles. If you want to use it, you can use it. Everything is flexible in Java. So always flexibility comes with a penalty. Okay. So there's a second part of it. Okay. So you have to use JavaScript very carefully. And uh, JavaScript is the undisputed only language which is used in the client side as of now. Probably if something born and then uh, it beats, that's a different case. But till date, this is the king of the client side scripting. Okay. Now it has moved to server side as well. Okay. With this short story, we'll move on with the next video uh, about uh, where to start with JavaScript. Okay. Thank you, friends. Bye-bye.